Joining me now is Michael Cohen's legal advisor, Lanny Davis. Mr. Davis, good to see you, sir. Let me start right off. You did not deny this story. You have in the past denied others or corrected the record when something has been wrong. Yesterday, Michael Cohen confirmed the Wall Street Journal story about rigged polls immediately. Nothing now. What can you tell us about the story? Well, you only said half of what we constructed last night, uh, Mr. Cohen and myself. Uh, neither deny nor confirm. We're just not commenting on the story. And I'm adding today another comment. He had nothing to do with the writing of the story. He didn't initiate the story. It was done by independent reporting. So the story stands on its own. Uh, Mr. Cohen, under guidelines that he has respected, won't comment on anything to do with subjects that he discussed with the special counsel. Seventy hours and seven meetings, that's been public, and that's the extent to which he'll ever comment on anything to do with the special counsel, including this story. In fairness, you have corrected stories that were false before that were involving Michael Cohen. You're, but you're choosing not to. Is there anything to correct in the BuzzFeed story, in your opinion? I just can't help you on that, uh, Chuck. Uh, I'm going to just say read the story, and the journalists have uh, uh, written about their sources and have written about other corroborating evidence, and I can't uh, confirm anything. I have no independent knowledge, by the way. Mr. Cohen's uh, conversations with Mr. Mueller, I did not attend those meetings. Mm -hmm. So I can just tell you what we came up with last night was simply a no comment. You spoke, you've spoken. When was the last time you spoke yes. with Michael Cohen? Oh, about an hour ago. Um, what's his reaction to the uh, public fallout of the story? Well, first of all, he just had uh, surgery on his shoulder, and he was photographed. I saw that bone spur. He had a bone spur on his shoulder. And I was going to say that he had a fist fight with President Trump, and <laughs> President Trump was the loser, but he had uh, not even worth joking about. He had uh, a shoulder um, uh, issue, and it's now um, being had been taken care of. Can you explain why he's comfortable essentially confirming the Wall Street Journal report about the rig polls, but not this? I really can't. This is... Um, much more uh, sensitive. And when I talked to him last night, even to me, he said, we just have to say we're not going to comment. I, and then today we talked and he wanted me to stress on this show that he did not initiate this uh, story. No one in here is alleging that. Is this more what, what why do you feel the need to have to do that? Do you well, there have been people who have called me that saw me behind the story or Mr. Cohen uh, instigating the story. The fact is that ever since he sat with Mr. Mueller all these hours, all these days, mm -hmm. was praised by Mr. Mueller's team, as you referred mm -hmm. to, um, has decided uh, to respect Mr. Mueller and not to say a word, either to confirm or to deny. You know when you do that, it, it, to many people it's a confirmation. Well, I understand either way you could infer uh, non-denial denial, my favorite line from all the president's men. Mm -hmm. uh, but the fact is, he, on this story, since he's the subject of the story, he's talked to Mr. Mueller at length about everything they wanted to know. He just instructed me not to uh, confirm or deny and that he had nothing to do with the writing of the story. I, 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 I don't mean to come back at this, but if this story is true, it's going to lead to the impeachment of the sitting president of the United States. If this story is not true, don't you think you have an obligation to tell us it's not true? I think I have an obligation as his lawyer, first of all, to follow the client's instructions. <laughs> Secondly, to honor and respect Bob Mueller, even the to-be nominee uh, and possibly uh, future uh, attorney general respects Bob Mueller and anything even as much as the media would like Michael to say yes, no, maybe about a story, anything to do with the Mr. Mueller investigation, he does not want to comment on, nor will he uh, during the February 7th uh, hearing uh, that is planned. Is that hearing definitely going to be planned? You had, you had said that he was concerned about his safety. By the way, safety from whom? Well, Mr. Trump uh, today again called out his father-in-law, and there is fear that Mr. Trump has supporters either in this country or maybe abroad that have a motivation to harm Mr. You just uh, said abroad. You're, 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 I, that, that's, a, that's not so subtle there. Well, I'm, does, he fear, does he fear some sort of retribution from Russia? No question that his family is fearful of anybody that opposes Donald Trump. And right now, today, he retweeted again the President of the United States in trying to intimidate a witness that is trying to 
tell the truth and called him a rat for telling the truth. That sounds like a mafioso, Don, uh, calling, as I remember in Godfather 2, Mr. Santangelo looked around and saw his brother from Sicily, and suddenly he said, I'm not going to talk. It sounds like Mr. Trump, who's a great fan of um, Hollywood and celebrityhood, mm -hmm. it, it, it creates fear in the family of Michael Cohn. Here's what, I, I guess, a, a, why is it, you've, you've been a practicing lawyer, if Cohen told the special counsel that the president directed him to lie, then why do you think it wasn't in Mueller's filing when the plea agreement, when, he, when, when Mr. Cohen pled guilty, in the filing, the special counsel simply said he circulated his prepared testimony with, with it, folks in the White House. It wasn't clear who, what, or where, but it was in that filing. That's what he described. If it was a, why wouldn't Bob Mueller put that in this filing directly, that the president directed Mr. Cohen to lie? Why isn't that, or individual one, why isn't that in his filing if, it's, if that indeed happened? Well, the absence of something doesn't always infer something. Secondly, we know that Mr. Mueller has not disclosed everything in his filings. Uh, and we also know, and I hope everyone reads what Mr. Mueller said about uh, Michael Cohen, as well as the Southern District of New York prosecutors, as well as the federal judge who sentenced him, that he was credible. Mr. Mueller went beyond that. He was credible on the core issues what made him credible? What he said or other physical evidence that he provided? Why, why is it that Mr. Mueller finds him credible? Well, I can only um, surmise that nobody in the criminal justice system takes somebody's word alone who might be subject to credibility challenges. Every witness can be cross-examined. Mr. Mueller has a reputation that corroboration, documentation, other evidence is always needed in order for something this serious to be taking place. And in this case, uh, it is my assumption that Mr. Mueller is operating on the same rule, that whatever Michael Cohen has told him uh, has to have corroboration. So far, Michael Cohen has said the president directed him to make hush money payments to those women that were alleged to have affairs with him. He has, he has admitted that the president directed him to rig these polls. And now there's an allegation that he supposedly said that the president directed him to lie. That part you won't confirm. Um, what are there other crimes that Mr. Cohen committed that the president directed him to do? I can't answer that, but I can tell you the one witness on the payment of this hush money at the end of a, an election campaign with um, uh, no doubt undisputed reimbursement of Michael Cohn is named Rudy Giuliani, the very man who challenges Michael Cohn's credibility on one day said, we never said collusion. Mm -hmm. And then on the next day said, well, there might have been collusion. And this is a man uh, who has already admitted to the reimbursement of Michael Cohn for the payment of this money. So he seems to like to get ahead of the curve mm -hmm. by saying the bad news, a rule that I also follow. But then he doesn't mind being contradictory right. the very next day. So the answer is, there's no doubt there was hush money paid to Michael Cohen in order to silence Stormy Daniels. I want to sort of go back to the beginning. You wanted to come on. It was my understanding that you wanted to make a comment on this story, but you won't confirm or deny it. What should people take away? Do you think this BuzzFeed story is a legitimate story or not? I actually wanted to come on to talk about the President of the United States threatening a family. This story I knew I couldn't say very much about. Okay. But let me just repeat, every Trump supporter watching this show, and I'm sure there are many, every Republican and Democratic member of Congress knows we all agree at a time of fantastically bad mm -hmm. division in this country. There's one thing we all agree on. It's the purple issue. Family is out of bounds. There's only one person in the country, one president in our history, that would threaten family as a tactic to make fear of somebody he calls a rat for telling the truth. And that's President Trump and the Republicans should be holding him accountable. That's why I wanted to come on. February 7th, Michael Cohen coming to Congress? I believe so, but he's still fearful and hasn't 100 percent gotten there. When will he make his final decision? I think in the next week or so uh, would be my guess. Lanny Davis, uh, I'll leave it there. Thank Thanks you. for coming on.
Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Meet the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.